Ugh, video games, disgusting. Hey there, everyone, this is Ramcow playing uh, Drama Mystery and Toxic Factory. Let's just go. We're somewhere in World 3, I think. I got no life. It's pretty great. Everyone knew that. Oh, so, uh, yeah. And this is like the foreground is made out of uh, the Starlight Resort Zone place from Sonic the Hedge Monkey. And caution, this is the Toxic Trash Tower! No spaces, all the Toxic Trash Tower! Here to go to the... sea. <laughs> None too proud, I guess. That's a window over there. It's uh, a, a part they didn't tile. This is the window we got. We can... No, I don't want to go here. I want to re up. If I can, actually, I could. <laughs> this is actually the smart thing to do. I won't fill me up entirely, because that would take too long, I guess. I don't know, I still, like, I'm above half, I'm happy, right, I can survive one thwomp. That's all we can ask for. I'm digging the background here. The scary pipes, and I call them scary because they're gradients. Oh man, those are scary. They are the most frightening force of evil that lives out there. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the water is kinda deadly. Kinda find it funny that the generic, like, castle music for this game is the Christmas theme song from Jazz Rabbit Jack. It's kinda, I don't know, maybe the person didn't realize it was based on Christmas music. It is, oh no! This is falling. This is toxic time climb except super a lot faster than in Donkey Kong. We got the music boss for some reason tonight. So I guess I just gotta raise the screen to the top. Okay, I can do that, I think. Uh, this is getting kind of hard to interpret in parts, but whatever, man. I can do it. I've got wall jumps and double jumps, and I've got panic kind of on my side. Maybe one day... Oh, jeez, what the hell? Although, it gets tricky when you don't quite see where the world may be slightly above your head. In the space you cannot see. This is going up the thing here. Don't mind me. This is kind of a fitting music, even if it originally was for a boss. Oh man, I'm going left to right a lot. It's pretty great. Okay, that's like a Trixie or something. Really don't know. I'm just kind of going upward at this point. Trying to predict. Oh geez, did I make a mistake here? Maybe. But I've lived. At least for now. Hey there, guy. How's it going? You only remove one health, so I'm gonna survive for now. Where do we go here? I wish that I knew. Running to and fro. On, oh, no, this harpsichord. That's not what it is. A harpsichord is a musical instrument. Unlike this yellow pipe, which is just, you know, a tool for oppression. Or at the very least, getting toxic out and into the, the, the water. Hey there, guy. You're throwing baseballs around. I bet you're proud of yourself. Your mother always wanted you to go in the sports. And here you are today, making a living out of throwing small spheres in directions you barely understand. Blackout Basement is, I recall, literally the name of a level in Donkey Kong Country 1. <laughs> oh, jeez. I can't read this. Gotta... Okay. Light loops too fast, I'll have a headache, you'd rather have an aspirin now. Don't laugh at the player having a headache! <laughs> oh god, this goes... Yeah, um... I apologize for watchers out there. Like, really. <laughs> if I could have it any other way, I would. But, you know, this is the video game that we're playing. Sometimes it has gimmicks that it barely understands. And I'm just kind of trying to improvise my way through the front. It's kind of working, maybe, I guess. Um, oh, let's just throw a shell at that guy without too much thought. Well, it seems that if I take my time, I can find places where I'm relatively safe. Or at the very least, that makes it easy to time my jumps into my enemies and things. The important part is things, I suppose. Probably going to die. It's pretty great, I guess. That never happened, oh my. 
Those are bombs, they have green eyes like every other enemies. I hope that one day it has a sort of explanation, because I think it's kind of neat. Although, uh, does the spiny have green eyes? Yes, they do. They're just kind of tiny eyes. Hey there, Wiggler. You're angry, but you have a huge smile. That means you're kind of manic right now. Oh, jeez. Um, let's... Rush blindly. Uh, I guess. Good thing I got health. <laughs> what? Midpoint, I guess. Wow, this is not healthy liquor. Oh, jeez, now it's getting worse somehow. Okay, it didn't, but the background is now caves. That, that makes it worse, right? Right, Thwomp? Gotta deal with Thwomps. This is like, Great's favorite enemy. Even more than Yoshi Cookie Zeus, it seems. Okay, that's a Koopa, it's pretty swell, got wings and a head and neck and stuff. Yeah, I'm kinda jealous. Wish I had a neck. So I just gotta have my head dislocated from my shoulders at all time! And it's just kinda, I don't know, being connected by the air directly. Okay, and then suddenly it ended! <laughs> we went to the basement, and in the basement there was a secret tornado exit. They were like, oh man, we are outside. I apologize, everyone's eyeballs. Let's go to the temple to make us feel about the poison of darkness now, really? <laughs> don't like the sound of that. You really don't feel good. The smoke is making you feel like dying. Hold on, you are dying! Oh, oh, I've got a time limit here. If you press down between two light blue pipes, you'll find another chaos temple. Two light blue pipes, huh? Very well. Oh jeez, like my face is green and I fell. It's pretty great. Do you not see how great it is? Well, it's a nice touch that Luigi's face is all green. So I've got a hard... I can't spin jump. I can't double jump or what? Like, here I think you can tell I'm trying to double jump over the thwomp. A motion I have done many times in this game, but... But it's not... So... Randomly, I don't have my double jump anymore. That's good. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Would have liked a warning, but fair enough. I still don't have my my double jump though. So, well, my my spin jump rather. I don't know what I'm saying. Coin, impossible. Man, I don't have time here. I just gotta hurt husbands. Whoa. And other nonsense. Probably gonna die again. Because, you know... Oh, what? I can't duck either. Okay, that's kind of random. But... Dang it. I don't know. I don't feel in control here. There's a lot of stuff just kind of against me right now. I won't mind dying, I guess. Because, you know, there's not really any consequences unless I, I reach a midpoint or something, I guess. Can't duck, can't double jump, can't do anything, the world is toxic, the world is gonna end, there's no end in sight, it is Armageddon, the Mayans were right all along, what are you gonna do, though? You're gonna, you're gonna fall. Uh, uh, do, do, do the things good! I'm not a big fan of the fake tree, dude. I'm not gonna lie here. Um, when you gotta do like precision type jumps like this, I don't know, maybe the secret route is up there, like the oh no, that's the route you're supposed to take. Wonderful. I still can't spin jump, so I can't just ride the guy up there. And still don't have my double. <laughs> wow. So. This is going actually pretty okay. Um, I am in not a trustful mood right now. It's pretty great. Okay. Just kind of worm our way up. Just kind of tank some hit here while we're hurrying up. Oh, where's the... Whoa, where were there pipes? Were there pipes at any point? I do not recall seeing any pipes. What? Light pipes? Did I, did I cross any without realizing it? Whoa, up arrows. Do I have access to that? Let's find out. 
No, I can't. Uh, maybe add the E? Like, what up with those arrows? You're trying to tell me a thing here. I can't go up anywhere. Maybe up from here? Nope. So, maybe that's a mystery I'll be on cork later. Man, acid raining. How can I say no to that? When you enter in the DEATH MACHINE, you have to destroy its control or you will die. <laughs> awesome. Caution! This uh, hydroacid right ahead, one goat, and you die. Got it. So, I got- I can double jump again, I can egg duck, it's pretty good. I guess poison makes you not able to do basic life-functioning things. I'm ready to accept that, apparently. Pretty good at video games. That was obviously a demo to see the effect of acid rain on the human plumber. My favorite body. It didn't heal me. I don't like that. I think that, you know, I, I'm really to accept a lot of concessions from a game. The really thing the least a game could do is heal you when you die. I'm assuming it's not meant to be that way and it's just like a sort of ASM oversight. But it's still really unfortunate. Like Mega Man, when you fall down a hole and you die, you come back with all your health. It's, uh, you know, it's basic living. Kinda happy that there just so happens to be, you know, a moving roof above my head, uh, but you don't know where the future's at. However, um, it's kinda also nice that the rain is not moving to the side, you know? Cause when you're underneath an awning, the, the rain doesn't stop full verticular, unless the explanation is that it's not the roof that's moving, but the floor underneath me, in which case I would ask, uh, well, I guess not so much ask, but I would be happy that the acid doesn't puddle or something, so that I can still have the, you know, safe footing on the carpet land, land of many carpets. My favorite carpet is full of land. My land is full of carpet juice too Don't know what I'm trying to say there, how about you? You're a little skeleton and you are so swell And now you're kinda dying, but now you're alive again, what the hell? You're a skeleton You do not have life You only have life if the body that you are forming the structure for at is alive Although I'm assuming your satiency is a body in itself. It is a complex construction. I'm getting heavy uh, Mario Gives Up vibe here. Like the first one, if it wasn't plagued with a hilarious amount of slowdowns. Okay, I was wondering if it might be something beyond the pipe, but I guess not. This is the world and it's where it's end. I've got red coins. Those are worth two. If you look at things in a slightly askewed way. Well, this is way more levels than I tend to do, but I kind of want to actually beat the boss in the end of a video instead of tagging at the start of a video. Go ahead! Okay, skeleton man! Since when the bosses have levels now? Crazyville. Oh man, coins, impossible. Death machine. Wait, so this is a level though. Um, if this is a level, I'm actually not going to. Oh, no, it just keeps telling me to go ahead. Uh, I'd love to, Death Machine. Am I inside a Death Machine? Okay. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> okay, bricks. I can deal with that. Sorrow trying to lay a trap on me. Sorrow, the guy that makes all the eyes green. There's the Death Machine 2000! Uh, made in America. So I am at a Death Machine, there's a shy guy thing and it just kinda kills me. That was... entertaining. <laughs> what? How much hell did they remove? So that's a smashy thing. Yup. <laughs> it's a smashy thing, alright. Man, it just plops out the Shy Guys like it was nothing. So, I'm doing this pretty badly. 
Oh jeez. So death machine, four hits. This is kinda annoying to time. Okay, but because I'm trying to stay safe at the same Really? Darn it. Not making this easy. Yeah, because like I kinda wanna stay safe. I need to bring a thing up there with me. Dang it, and I keep no ugh. It's the safest way to go and then just kinda exchange, but then I need to you know, not get killed by the sun. Oh man, if it weren't just for that aspect, but I'm aware that, you know, there's nothing much the author could have made about that, I guess. And I guess you can just kind of do it this way. part is not to get hit by the saws because they remove half my life. If I'm gonna have to take a choice, it's better to just get hit by a shy guy because they remove like one. So he's already halfway down. See, once I start to understand, it was well, still a little annoying to get shy guys because you got like very little room. But and then I'm pretty bad at video games sometimes, but still, it's not that bad. It is not that bad. I have plenty of time, actually. Once you understand how the world works... It's... You understand how the world works very badly, but it still works! And Kud is there to dance! Look at his one-frame animation. It's very nice. Good job, Kud! I'm looking forward to the Plumber's Talent Contest, because apparently you're a plumber now, as a protagonist in the Mario game. This is Rao Kao playing Drama Mystery, and next time we're going in the pipe! And the arrows on the map seem to have disappeared. Good times!